let us start by writing your simplest Python program. So what you need to do is open your favorite text ed editor. You can open Visual Studio Code or PyCharm. In my case, I'm using Z. And uh, basically how you write, your, uh, to write your, your first Python program, just type in print and then have your, the set of parentheses and you can write in any statement. In this case, I'm going to write in hello world. So what this statement here is going to do is the print function that we've just created written here, it tells Python to display whatever is inside of the parentheses here. And now if we run this code, I'll just do Python 3. Python 3, the name of the file is example.py and I should save first. So once I save and run it again, uh, it's a, you see it prints hello world to the terminal here. Now, in some cases, uh, if you're working, for example, on a Windows machine, you'll uh, mostly have to say just py followed by the name of the file. Uh, and in other, in other machines, for example, in a Mac, you'll have to say Python. But in my case, I have to say Python 3. So once you run it, you can see we get hello world as the result here. Now, this is how when how you are able to basically write your program in your code editor. But there's also a really quick way that you can use to test Python code. Uh, in this case, you use an interactive shell. So to use an interactive shell, all you need to do is you'll do it on your terminal. So you don't really have, you can do it in an external terminal, but I'm going to use this, this terminal that we have here. So you open the terminal, uh, command prompt, if that is what you use, if you're using Windows, and all you need to do is you need to type in Python. So in my case, I need to type in Python 3. In the moment I do that, uh, you see it uh, It opens an interactive sh shell here. And here you'll see, again, you'll see these three uh, arrows here, which means that Python is now ready for us to use. And if we try and basically type in our command directly in here, we'll say print and we type in hello world and if you hit enter you see it we have hello world here as the result that you're getting now this is basically how an interactive shell works works but usually uh, the way we write our python code uh, we write the python code in files and then we run them later which is what you did at first so for example in this case we had our file uh, so first of all let's exit from here so to exit you just type in exit and the set of parentheses like that and i'm going to reduce the size of this terminal so normally how we write our Python code is you create a file. In this case, I have a file called example.py. Then you can type in your code. And then for you to run your code, all you need to do is type in uh, Python or Python 3 or py and followed by the name of the file. Once you hit enter, you get the result uh, down below. And uh, in terms of IDs, uh, if you're using an ID like, let's say, Visual Studio Code or PyCharm, you can just click Run. So there's usually a Run button there that you can use, or you can also press F5 to execute the script that they've just written. And this makes your code uh, even easier for you to basically test it out. And there are many other ways that you can, uh, many mistakes that you usually make when you're, when you're writing Python code. So for example, uh, one, one major mistake that a lot of people make is you find them typing in print, then they write in the statement, in this case, uh, let's say, hello world. So this is, a this is a major mistake that a lot of people make because they forget adding the parentheses. Well, so without the parentheses, you get an error. And to test this out, if we run our code now, you see we get a syntax error. And this, what a syntax error means is that you've not followed the conventions that Python is supposed to follow. It's the same way when you're writing English, you start a sentence with a lowercase letter, right? So that is, does not follow the syntax or you don't finish a sentence with a full stop. So in this case, in Python, you get the syntax error and it tells you that you have a missing parenthesis in your print. And then it asks you, did you, did you mean to print with the parenthesis? So to fix the error, you just need to go ahead and add opening parentheses and closing parentheses. Now, if we save and run our code again, you see it still prints that statement there. And the other, the, the other, the other major error that you can face is when you try to run your Python code, then it tells you that uh, you get a statement like, uh, that usually says something like uh, command not found, right? So you'll get, when you try to run with Python, then it tells you command not found. So for example, in my case here, I say Python, 
then example.py, you see it tells me command not found, the command that has not been found in Python. In my case, I'm getting this error because uh, for me to run Python, I have to type in Python 3. But in your case, if you're getting this error, it mostly means that Python might not be installed in your machine. So what you need to do is uh, head back to python.org, download and install Python before you try again. So there's that previous video that we did on this, should be able to guide you uh, all through to do that. And that is it. So you've just, congratulations, you've just written your first Python program. And now I have a challenge for you that I'd like you to try. And what I'd like you to do is, I'd like you to modify this simple Python script that you've written here, but instead of typing in hello world, I want you to uh, modify it and write your own name. And then you run the program, let me know how it goes in the comments below. If you have a question, feel free to type, to ask in the, in the comments, I'll be answering those questions. And if you found this helpful, do not forget to like this video, subscribe, and also hit the notification bell so that you can get notified every time I post new tutorials.